and Google that shit, yo. Where's my key? Where's my cat? Now I know where everything's at. Why do I bleed from my nose? Why does my husband wear my clothes? Today I'm going commando, folks. I had a remarkable vagina. Dumb bitch just complains and gets views and likes because she has tits. I put your phone in a cast and a comb and it bends and it hook and it and your chapstick too. Bring and it rush and it checks and it wine and it work and it all of it just like new. Hi Mackenzie. In 2007 I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos and I came across the Obama Girl video which was a, a love song for Obama that had gone viral and was making it on all the big news stations and I thought it was really clever. And so I wrote a parody of the song for Hillary Clinton called Hot for Hillary. I have a crush on a girl named Hill, but she's not with me, she's with this guy named Bill. But the video did pretty well, and for me it was really exciting just to see that you could put something out online and within a few days you could have hundreds of thousands of people potentially view it. I feel like I get my ideas just from regular stuff that happens that's embarrassing or sometimes I'll hear a funny catchphrase and we'll kind of latch onto that and write it down in my notebook of ideas and then later on go back and kind of like extrapolate on it. Maybe some of it is just pent up oppression. I don't know why but I think Coffee Makes Me Poo is my favorite song and video. Gotta poo, I really gotta poo. A cup of dough always helps it all pass through. My poo, my poo, my poo. I think it's a funny expression and I want to make t-shirts that say coffee makes me poo on them. I really like fart humor. I can't help it. I would watch Ren and Stimpy the Kid and laugh at all the fart and poop jokes so I guess go figure that that would be my favorite song. I think Hannah Hart. I actually haven't worked with her yet. She's really, really funny. She does a show called My Drunk Kitchen. I like to drink. She likes to drink. I think we already have a lot in common. <laughs> that is a great question. I don't know because I don't ask them how they feel about it and they don't, they don't tell me how they feel, which means they probably don't like it. I feel like my mom and dad probably tend to ignore it. Uh, if my mom sees a title like Bad Sex, she probably just chooses not to watch the video, knowing that she would not approve of it. Tiggy, why are you so sad? My cat is meowing. Tiggy makes an appearance in quite a few of my videos. Um, she is a very weird cat. My friends are really supportive, which is great. My friends are, um, I don't know, they just think I'm really weird, so I, th I think they, they enjoy the videos. Family don't know. Uh, it's unspoken. <laughs> um, yes, please. It's a great show. I always wanted to be um, on Glee. That's actually one show I never had the chance to audition for, oddly enough. And I've auditioned for, I feel like most TV shows in LA, and Glee is not one of them. I just can never get in their room. <laughs> Who knows? If there's another season of it, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It would be awesome to be on that show. I think pretty much anyone on YouTube or that is an online personality has a weird, crazy fan that just goes a little too far on the Facebook page. Um, I found a, a site dedicated to my feet that someone created. That fan's weird. <laughs> any person, any fan that's come up to me in person has always been so sweet and I'm like always shocked. I'm like, oh my god, I have a, a fan that knows who I am. So that's, that, that's always fun. <laughs> I love cats. People wonder why I'm a cat lady. Like, I'm a freaking weirdo when it comes to cats. I, like, love petting people's cats, holding their cats, buying cat collectibles. I love truffles. I'll eat anything with truffle in it. Not the chocolate truffle, the mushroom truffle. I have truffle salt, truffle olive oil, and I literally put it on everything. Eggs, spinach, 
um, potatoes. Uh, those are horrible facts. Um, oh, I ran a, a half marathon in college and came in first place in my age category, which doesn't really say that much because it was like the two, I think it was like 18 to 20 or something like that. Um, but I, I think that's a fun fact now because I never work out. Housewives of New York, Housewives of New Jersey, Housewives of um, Orange County, they're Beverly Hills, oh, they're the best. I love it. I had to extricate myself, is that a word? Extricate? To extricate myself from watching the shows because they are so seductive and they will pull you in and you will watch for hours. Vanilla. I love vanilla. I'm a vanilla bean kind of girl. I'd rather have vanilla ice cream than chocolate ice cream. I own an iPhone, and I love it. For safety reasons, and because I'm sort of type A, I'd say alien invasion, because I feel like, don't we get to learn about these cool extraterrestrials, and maybe I'd have a chance at another cooler life on another planet, whereas zombie apocalypse, it's just guaranteed endless running around, hoping not to be eaten alive. <laughs> can do that. In Scranton, Pennsylvania, where there's not that much to do, one night a girl stole heroin and stuck it up her hoo-hoo. Who puts heroin in that space? Who wants drugs in their private place? If you read the headlines, you know it's true. A chick with a remarkable vagina, that's who. A chick with a remarkable vagina, who do? Okay, I'm just making a group ball. I think that's it. I think that's all of the... I think that's all of the questions. Uh, thank you so much for waiting, Mackenzie, on this interview for as long as you did. I really appreciate it. Perhaps you are an idiot. Perhaps you like dogs. Perhaps you like hot dogs. I don't know, because I don't know you. It'll be a mystery. You don't know your own lyrics? Jeez.